Question 7. Solve the equation x squared plus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0. Given your answers in the form c plus di, where c and d are integers. Okay, so part a, I'm going to, I'm going to rewrite this in completed square form. So it's going to be x plus 2 squared subtract 4 plus 20 equals 0. Or x plus 2 squared and um, that's going to be plus 16 is equal to 0 or equals negative 16. So if I root both sides now I get x plus 2 is equal to the square root of negative 16 is going to be 4i and it's going to be plus or minus 4i. Okay so a positive 4i squared gives me negative 16 and negative 4i squared will be negative 4i times negative 4i, which is going to be the same as 4i squared, which is also negative 16. And then that tells me that x is going to be equal to, subtract 2 from both sides, so that's going to be negative 2 plus or minus 4i. So my value of c is going to be negative 2, and my value of d is going to be 4. Okay, part b. The roots of the quadratic equation given here are w and um, the conjugate of w, or w star. Okay, so um, for part i, it says, in the case where q is real, explain why q must be negative 1. So, because we've got two um, roots that are conjugates of each other, in order for them to be conjugates of each other, the coefficients of um, my um, terms in my quadratic equation must all be real. Now, if um, Q is real, then the only way of this coefficient being real is if Q was negative 1. So that's why Q has to be negative 1. So we can say when q is equal to negative 1, the coefficient of z um, coefficient of z uh, will be real. And this would lead to um, the solution being conjugate. Okay, and um, well, that was part one. So for part two, let's draw a line over here. Okay, so for part two, we're being told that in the case where um, w is p plus 2i, where p is real, we need to find the possible values of q. So that tells me that um, I've got two roots, um, one of them is p plus 2i, and then the other one is going to be p minus 2i. So um, if I say that alpha is equal to p plus 2i, and beta is equal to p minus 2i. Okay, so if I work out alpha beta first of all, so alpha beta is going to be equal to c over a, which is 20 over 1, which is 20. So let's write that down. So alpha beta is equal to 20. And um, so that tells me that p plus 2i times p minus 2i is equal to 20, which tells me that p squared Um, and that's going to be um, plus 2i plus 2pi, take away 2pi, which cancel each other out. 2i times 2i is um, negative 
So we've got negative negative 4, which would be plus 4 is equal to 20, which tells me that p squared is equal to 16, or p is equal to um, plus or minus 4. Okay, and um, and then I can also do, so coming over here, we know that alpha plus beta is equal to, um, well that's going to be negative b over a, so that's going to be negative 4, take away i, take away qi. And using this here, we know that alpha plus beta um, is going to be the sum of these, so that's going to be just 2p. So 2p is equal to negative 4, negative i, negative qi. Okay, and I know that p is equal to plus or minus 4, so 2p must be equal to plus or minus 8. So plus or minus 8 must be equal to negative 4, take away i, take away q, I. So, okay, so um, taking this positive 8 first of all, so I've got positive 8 um, is equal to negative 4 take away i take away qi, so that tells me that 12 is going to be equal to, or oh, let's try, let's do 12 plus i is going to be equal to negative qi, so that's one of my solutions. And my other solution is going to be uh, negative 8 plus 4. So that's going to be negative 4 plus i is equal to negative qi. So those are going to be my two solutions. Because I want to make q the subject here, I'm going to multiply um, to get rid of that i there. I'm just going to multiply um, every term by i. So I'll do that over here. Oops. So I've got 12i plus i squared, so that's going to be subtract 1 is equal to negative qi squared, which will give me a positive q. So that tells me 12i take away 1 is equal to q, so that's one of my solutions. And then for the other one, again, if I multiply through by i, I get negative 4i um, plus i squared, which is subtract 1, is equal to negative q times i squared. So it's negative q times negative 1, which is q. So that's going to be my other solution here. So I've got q is equal to 12i take away 1, and q is equal to negative 4i take away 1. Okay, I hope that made sense. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.